and now we have a different motivation, right? We were chasing history and trying to win three straight, but now we didn't we didn't get our, our final goal. So there's some motivation in that as, as well. So I'm confident that this group can take some time here to recharge and then let's get back to work, get back in the gym, get back on the ice, and we'll find a way we, we have in the past. So that's, that's the expectation. We talked a lot about last year. I mean, are you full? Are you still hungry? That type of thing. So now when you get to where we wanted to get, which was back to the finals and you don't win, um, there's, there's motivation in itself to not have that feeling, to realize the summer that Colorado had and how much fun it was and how we want to get that back. So Mentality heading into the season is hopefully get back to where we were last season. We know how difficult it is to get to where we were last season. It's, it's a long season, it's a grind. But at the same time, you don't want to look too far ahead. Like I said, you want to get off to a good start. The playoffs is, is always the, the goal. As we've seen, the last three years you get in, you, you never know what can happen. So. Let's just develop some good habits early on in the season and go from there. Media Day. For the Bolts, it marks the official start of a new hockey season and the conclusion of a short but eventful offseason. What's up, fellas? How's it going, man? Good, how are you? In three, two, one, action. All right. Great first day in the media and uh, medicals and uh, good thing we don't have to practice today because uh, that would be tough after uh, doing uh, this, uh, this stuff. So, but uh, it's very exciting, you know, to see a couple new faces and, uh, you know, being with the boys back. So it's, it's, it's great. You can start shifting your weight back and forth for me and spin. Nice. So we'll start with thumbs up. I'm not that's how I... Yeah. Just, You're gonna uh, keep it tight though. Yeah. Just make sure you don't cover your face too. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> it's a usual day, you know, we're trying to uh, shoot some content for the fans and for people to, to watch us play and cheer for us. So and I feel like everybody's ready to play, so we're excited. Do I have to try hard? Uh what maybe the skating one? Uh, can you speed it up on the edit? Best station is probably on the ice. You know, every year is something new. Uh, we're shooting something new, so it's it's fun, fun to do. And uh, probably the best station is talking to you guys too. You know, the media. Yay. <laughs> How's it going? How are you, man? Follow the yellow brick road, right? Uh -huh. the right. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Amanda. Good you. Nice to I've been wanting to play, to play more. Uh, every year I played in the league, and uh, now it's finally. Uh, I'm expecting to, uh, not expecting, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to play my best so I can play more and uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'm 100% I'm, I'm confident in my abilities. We don't have help people who can navigate me through this. Um, I think, kind of, look, I think that you have to get your NHL headshot done. Oh, okay. No under. Nice. Good. Sick camera, by the way. Yeah. What is that? R3. Nice. I just, uh, we don't have to film that. <laughs> One of our coaches said last year that the Cups are won uh, in practice. I don't, I don't believe that, to be honest with you. I believe that they're won in, in games. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's exciting time. Uh, everybody's uh, is going to be pumped up and ready to go. Usually first practice is the, not the hardest, but the most intense one. And um, I can't wait to do that. I just need five goals. I need 96. 96 what's, more? What's, what's 96 more? 1,000 points? No, 500. <laughs> you better get off my line, bud. <laughs> what's the first row, Roscoe? What's the first row? What's that? Yep, yep. Cut to the middle! Yeah, yeah! Give it to the middle ice here. Right off my f***ing head, dude. Hit the f***ing nut. Right off my f***ing goal. Hags hit me right off my goal. You didn't feel anything, did you? No. Not with this pocket, eh? Here's! Billy! Flores, off the wall, off the wall! Don't get comfortable, Paulie, eh? Taylor! Taylor! 
Hey, tell them not to get comfortable. Paulie's getting too comfortable with those backhand passes, eh? Let's stick to the forehand, eh, Paulie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Holy s. So pretty. Hey! Bring us out like this on day one. Twelve thirty. Pleasure. To be honest, I've been really impressed with the vets, and they have every excuse to come in and say, you know, coach, we've done a ton of winning, and you know, we haven't had much of a summer, and you know, we might not be in the, the shape we need to be in. We'll get through this, but uh, they came in guns a blazing. So that's leadership, and 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 they've been the guys leading. Let's go over, over. Sprint, sprint. Come on, Ross. Cooch, cooch, go, go! Come on, Belly! Come on, Belly! Catch him, Stammer! Come on, Hank! Come on, Hank! You know, you're looking for some young guys. There's open spots here, and there's as many new faces as we've ever had on this team. And so, getting to know these players and what they can do. Win a can battle here, Myers. Don't let him can buy you. Snap it hard. It's not an egg. Not an egg. I don't want that's actually, it's been kind of refreshing and, and fun for us as a staff uh, to meet some of these new, new kids, but you know, I gotta you know, tip my hat to the vets. They've, they came in here and have, have really led by example. Not a great drill for the goalies, Vass. Not a great drill for the goalies. Next one's not great for you either. No, that last one is decent. I think every year, um, there's that excitement coming into training camp, seeing the guys again, getting on the ice. I know it's the third short summer and in a row, um, not quite as fun as the other two, but um, always great to get back in here and, and get going. So it's really the same mindset that we've had the past couple of years. Nothing really changes. Uh, same thing as last year. We lost a few really good players that we're going to miss um, on and off the ice. But new guys, fresh faces have come in. And, they're gonna have to play a big role on our team. All these thoughts going through my head. Will I lose or will I win? Wide open. Oh, there it is. You come into camp, you know what to expect. You know what you're gonna get from the coaching staff. They know what you're gonna get from the players. So sometimes there's that feel out process in training camps and you could waste a couple days trying to get on the same page. We're on the same page from day one. And I've been working, I've been really on my job. I've been sitting there in my corner chair. Good play, good play. That's an advantage for, for our group. You know, we don't need to go, you know, the first three days without pucks and, you know, skating. I mean, we, we know what we have to do. We're pros in here and um, everyone came in, in in great shape. Probably more younger guys. You know than, uh, than before than previous camps, uh, so the intensity is a little uh, little harder, which uh, I feel like everybody enjoys. So it's 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 good, you know. It makes everyone better. Hey! 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 The mentality for us is let's get off to a really good start. Let's not use the past couple years, the long runs, as an excuse early. Let's just get off to a good start and go from there. All of these thoughts go through my head. Will I lose or will I win? Got it tattooed on my skin. I will never lose again. If you're not with me, you against me. If you gon' get me, then come get me. I go hard. I go really hard. I go, I go, I go, I go hard. The time has finally come for some much anticipated gameplay. As the Lightning send a group to rally North Carolina for their first preseason game against the Carolina Hurricanes. Whoa, boys! Let's show what we got, eh? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it.
A change in the forecast. The impending Hurricane Ian diverts the team's travel plans, sending their gang group to Nashville to join the rest of the squad, while back in Tampa Bay, an official evacuation has taken place. An update on the path of Hurricane Ian. We want to get right to the latest forecast release. Look at our graph model. This is just one of many models, but notice where it shows landfall. Not Tampa Bay. This shows it to the south through places like Sarasota and Venice. So that is still in play. We did know a little bit, you know, a week ago that there was going to be a hurricane coming. So there were some things that were put in place, but uh, you never know until the last minute where it's going to hit, how it's going to hit. So we obviously made plans last, last second to come to Nashville. And you can imagine how difficult it is to get families and dogs all on the same page, you know, with flights and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it, it's been a little hectic. It was almost like deja vu from uh, Irma, uh, was it four or five years ago now? You know, you start to hear the whispers about a week and a half when that tropical storm kind of forms and it's coming into the Gulf. Certainly a little worrisome when, when you see all the models and, and has it coming right for Tampa. And luckily for, for this area, it's, it's always veered off, but it's just devastating for where it hits. And this time, obviously the Fort Myers, Naples area, you know, a lot of people had their lives flipped upside down. It's crazy. I mean, that's Mother Nature at its at its finest in, in terms of strength and power. And, you know, you don't want to mess with that. So we were able to, to get out safely again, get to Nashville like we did with Irma. And we were able to stay safe and had minimal damage here. But, you know, your heart goes out for everyone that um, didn't have that opportunity and uh, have lost a lot. While their minds and hearts may be somewhere else, the Bolts must find a way to remain focused on training camp and the week ahead. There's a lot going on back home and, you know, people are worried about their homes and, you know, family and friends that may still be there. But um, on the other side of things, you know, we still have to get ready for our season. A lot of us haven't played a game yet, so hoping to get some games in to get our feet under us just so we can be as prepared as possible for the first game against New York. A back-to-back -back with the Predators begins as the Lightning look to capture their first preseason victory. Holy You just want to get back in, in the rhythm of things so that when the night one comes, you know, systems and PK and power play, it, it's nothing new, it's not a shock. There are different things we're doing with our system. You want to get reps uh, in those. And, and most importantly, you want to like get out there and get some, some bumps and get some hits just so that you're ready when, when uh, game one starts. So all of those things combined just to get you ready. It's evident, this will not be the Bolts night. And for the majority of this group, they also recognize the clock is ticking on their opportunity to demonstrate why they belong on the roster. Finally, the team heads home. But not everyone is lucky enough to enjoy the ride as the roster has been trimmed down. Only a few opening night hopefuls remain. And thus far, one has made his case to make the final cut. Hot today. Hot today. <laughs> oh, I'm hot today. When you're hot, you're hot, man. I mean, it's kind of a stressful time through summer, trying not to 
ever think too far ahead. I just kind of knew coming into this camp uh, what the opportunity was going to be like with kind of the one or two roster spots open and then having that experience black acing and just learning going into my second year I felt really confident about uh, just the opportunities available for this camp so I was just really focused on that and just trying to win a spot but trying not to get too far ahead at the same time. Head tip. He came in I think with the urgency of knowing there um, is a spot available. He's a guy that I think is realizing the opportunity that he has at hand. I mean, I played the one game with him in, in Nashville. He looked really good. He was aggressive in on the four check. So I think he's gonna be a good surprise early for, for a young guy. I like the way he plays. He skates really good, he shoots it really well, and he's physical. So I think he's got all the tools to be a good NHL player. So he just has to get in game situations and, and, and get some reps in, but I've really, really been impressed by him. The systems has kind of been something I've really tried to lock down this camp and just the whole confidence piece, whether it be talking with other players that are solidified on the team already or the coaching staff and just kind of play with confidence, knowing that I can play at this level when I'm playing my game the right way and then just kind of not overthink it. There's no individuals on this team. You can have the best player on the ice, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. It's Every player has a role on their team and everyone has to accept that role and if you're playing it right. That's how you build uh, championship teams and create dynasties, which is something they've done in the past, something they're in the middle of doing right now. So just trying to come in and live up to that standard now that I've actually been here for a full year and come into my second year and been around the city and uh, the guys in the organization, it's, it's an amazing place and definitely somewhere I want to stay. With the preseason officially wrapped up, Cole Kepke has aced his audition and joins the team as they journey to New York City, hoping to play in game one of 82. Madison Square Garden, October 11th. It's the bright lights, we're the only game in town. Uh, if you can't get fired up for that one, then you just don't ever get fired up. <laughs> If you're going to start on the road, that's a pretty good place to, to start. You know, an amazing team, an amazing city, an amazing building to, to start the season off. So your guys are going to be anxious, have a, a couple nerves before that one, but that's a good thing. The first game, there's just so much pent up energy from the whole summer. And finally, once you get inside uh, an arena that's a full crowd, there's definitely some, some jitters and some nervous, some nervous energy. I think it's similar to the playoff. Last game at the Madison Square Garden went low for me and uh, I'm trying to get this, that streak going, so uh, it's, it's cool. I'll, I'm very excited. It's going to be a great test for our group. Not only will the season's first game be a good primer for the Bolts veterans, it will also present rookie Cole Kepke's NHL debut on one of hockey's most revered stages. for a shorthanded goal to make it 1-0. Hey, boys, just settle in now. Settle in, hey. Eh? Relax here. Let's go push the pace here. What is taking it? Let's try it. Carpenter at point. To the left is just dirty. Whoa. One by point. Who drop? High slot. Left circle. Stamp goes. Score! There it is! Hi, boy. Hey. Hey. The 
face-off win, and the chance for Stamp goes in the net. It's 1-1. That's it, Perry. Paul wins it cleanly. Turnack by the net, got tied up by Trocek. Warren follows up, leaves it for Turnack. Where is it? Couldn't get it out. Held it in the air right circle. Tough break. Buster goes advantage at score. Well, they won the draw. They had the puck. They couldn't get it down the ice. And Zibanejad had an open near side of the net. He drilled it home. Rangers get a power play goal and make it 2-1. to one. Ryan Carpenter in the left circle. A point to Lindgren. Shoot score! Tipped in front by Barkley Goodrow. Well, that started with an unforced turnover by the Lightning. They made just enough mistakes tonight to be where they are, which is down two with nine minutes left. Well, I mean, it's, it's the first game. I didn't think the execution was, was quite there. We just got to bear down, so um, we just got to get better in, in execution-wise. Trying to find positives, obviously, to build off, but at the same time, you know, we hold ourselves to a high standard when it comes to, to, to all parts of the game, so uh, try and get better at it next game. Luckily for the Lightning, they'll have 81 more chances to atone for this night in the Big Apple. Needless to say, this group knows what it takes to navigate a winning course. What is the standard of the Tampa Bay Lightning? Uh, the standard is to do whatever it takes to, to win. A lot of the time that's putting the team over yourself and the thing about this group and this core group, including myself, I mean, it, it, that doesn't happen overnight. That, that takes a while to develop and to learn and to appreciate the, the sacrifices that it takes. A new mission is underway. We set the standard really high, even if it's in practice. Guys get on each other, we expect a lot out of each other. But the goal remains the same. So we've been to three uh, Stanley Cup Finals in three years, so just keep that going, that's the standard. 82 games played, the Tampa Bay Lightning win. What's gone on here, the tradition of winning, uh, the tradition of community service, the tradition of representing our city, everything just falls into excellence. We know when we step on the ice wearing that jersey, that's the expectation. We know it works, and so now there's no excuse because we know it works. And, uh, but the great thing, like I said, about this group is that all the guys are willing to do that.